Welcome to the archives of IT. Scientists and engineers tell their stories of how information technology has transformed medicine over the last 70 years. Sir Michael Brady now talks about imaging, artificial intelligence and cancer diagnosis. He describes how the advances in information technology he talked about earlier have improved the diagnosis of cancer and other complex conditions and might make advanced medicine available in remote and underdeveloped areas. In breast cancer, the first digital mammography systems were developed in the year 2000, just 21 years ago. And at the time, um, what that did, sorry, what that did was it meant that if we wanted to provide any form of detection of, for example, uh, ductal carcinoma in situ or of a, a tumorous mass within the breast, until then, until 2000, we had to take film and digitize it and then run it offline. This took forever. And computers were just, because mammograms are huge, it took a long, long time. It was infeasible. So, the advent of digital mammography, so images were captured digitally, meant that we could process them digitally, which gave rise to computer-aided detection, automatic detection of, um, of tumours and microcalcifications. Now, the bad news was the algorithms weren't very good. They had huge numbers of false positives and... Um, as a result, there was kind of over-diagnostics. There were, there, were, um, there were far too many false recalls coming back. That was just 20 years ago. Um, starting seven years ago with uh, ScreenPoint, but also in South Korea with Lunit, um, with ICAD. Um, not only in 2D mammography, but 3D mammography, which would have been infeasible without compute power. Um, we can now outperform automatically all but the best breast radiologists. We're beginning now to be able to take 2D, 3D mammography and link it to um, uh, MRI to look at things like, for example, uh, breast um, hormonal composition, breast density, and to look at the... Uh, following the progression of breast cancer over years. So computers plus the internet cloud plus biology have completely revolutionized how we detect, how we treat, how we choose treatments, how we monitor the treatment of breast cancer. All right, so the companies that we've started now have got installations in around 12,500 hospitals and imaging centers around the world. And breast cancer is one example of a, um, a condition that has been transformed and is being transformed, but we've barely started yet. There's, there's a vast amount more that, that will be done, that can be done. Um, but the same is true for liver disease. The same is true for heart disease. Um, we're beginning to move now from treating people who are sick to beginning to anticipate disease, to treat people when we find the, perhaps even incidentally, accidentally, the earliest stages of disease and intervene uh, when the prognosis will be vastly better. The technology of AI, of image analysis, of the three things I mentioned of biology, compute power, and um, the internet slash cloud, have the potential to take all of these technologies and, dis and distribute them through the world to level up the awful uh, discrepancies there are, for example, sub-Saharan Africa and Europe and the United States. You can find more detail and extended interviews with all of our contributors at our website, archivesit.org.uk.